Hi, I'm Laura at Make. Draudio is a simple electronic sound synthesizer built on a pencil. Originally designed by Jay Silver, the Draudio circuit plays a musical tone with a frequency that varies based on the resistance between two points. When you hold Draudio in your hand, your body becomes part of the resistive loop and you can do lots of fun tricks. Draw yourself a piano and play a little tune, or maybe a robot that talks, or even some mini monsters that growl. The Draudio circuit is based on the classic 555 timer chip, but we'll be using a TLC 555 timer because it operates on 3 volts, where the original 555 requires at least 4.5 volts. We will wire up the 555 so that it operates in A-stable mode, outputting a continuous stream of pulses from pin 3. The frequency of those pulses can be controlled by changing the values of the resistors and capacitors connected to pins 2 and 7. Since the contacts are arranged to put the user's body into the resistive loop, the frequency output by the 555 naturally varies depending on the user and the resistance in the drawing. The transistor amplifies those pulses which emerge from the speaker as an audible sound. By using these parts and following the instructions on the project page, you can build your own Draudio in just an hour or two. You'll only need a few basic tools that can all be found at Radio Shack. We will start by cutting the perf board into a rectangle with five rows of 23 holes each. Cut the perf board by scoring it with a utility knife and a straight edge, then snap it along the scored lines. Then position the 555 timer in the board as shown and solder a jumper between pins 2 and 6. Insert the transistor into the center of the board, then bend the transistor's center lead, the base, over and solder it to pin 3. Place the electrolytic capacitor next to the transistor so that its positive lead can easily reach the collector of the transistor. Then insert a 10 ohm resistor into the perf board between the timer and the transistor and solder its leg to both the collector and the positive lead of the capacitor. Place the 0.1 microfarad capacitor so that one leg can be soldered to pin 5 and the other to the free leg of the 10 ohm resistor. Leave this resistor's leg in place as this will become our ground rail for the circuit. Now connect a 10 mega ohm resistor between pin 6 and ground, then place a 570 picofarad capacitor next to it and solder its leads to pin 6 and ground as well. Solder the negative lead from the battery case to the ground rail and run its positive lead to the corner of the perf board. Strip enough insulation to run the wire from the corner to pin 8 on the 555. This will be the power rail for the circuit. Now insert a 10 kilo ohm resistor and solder one lead to pin 7 and the other to the power rail. Cut a small piece of wire and place a jumper wire across the 555 from the power rail to the emitter leg of the transistor. Continue this connection with a second jumper wire to pin 4 on the timer. A third jumper wire will connect pin 1 on the timer to the ground rail. Using the super mount tape, attach the speaker to the far end of the perf board and connect its leads to the circuit. The negative lead goes to the ground rail and the positive lead is soldered to the negative lead of the electrolytic capacitor. Next, insert a 270 kilo ohm resistor into the perf board and solder one of its legs to pin 2. Cut and strip a 4 inch piece of jumper wire and solder one end to the other leg of this resistor. This jumper wire will connect the circuit to the pencil's graphite core. Cut about 12 inches of wire and strip all but 2 inches of the insulation. This wire will be wrapped around the pencil's body to make contact with your hand. Solder the other end of this wire to pin 7 on the 555 timer. And that's it! Your Draudio circuit is complete! Fold the battery clip back under the perf board and then thread the carpenter's pencil in between the perf board and the battery clip. Position the perf board near the end of the pencil and attach it in place using the super mount tape. Then attach the battery clip to the opposite side in the same fashion. Run the 4 inch wire to the top of the pencil and wrap the stripped end once around the thumbtack. Lightly tap the thumbtack down into the graphite and then trim the excess wire. Wind the exposed copper of the 12 inch wire down and around the body of the pencil. Stop about 1.5 inches short of the tip to leave room for sharpening. 
secure the wire at the end of the grip with one or two turns of electrical tape, and you're almost done. Sharpen the pencil with a utility knife, add two AAA batteries, and you're ready to start drawing. Try experimenting with different substances, objects, and distances between the pencil tip and your finger. You'll be amazed at all the different noises and music that you can create. We'd love to see your builds and drawings. Make sure to check out the project page and show us what you came up with.